Norway's $1 trillion wealth fund managed to rake in $20 billion last quarter. It's thanks to oil and gas stocks. But its longer-term prospects suffered from escalating trade tensions. Joining us over the phone from Oslo with more on this story is Jonas Bergman, Bloomberg's Oslo Bureau Chief. Um, Jonas, thank you so much for joining us. Um, talk to us about what uh, was sort of the stumbling block here from trade. Why didn't that work out for Norway? Well, I mean, the, the fund uh, is invested globally. So, so any sort of uh, trade barriers that are, are erected that will impede global growth will, will hurt the fund in its investments. We saw that uh, clearly in the second quarter. It was hurt by its uh, investments in emerging markets and in China. What really helped it was, was its U.S. stock portfolio and its oil and gas stocks and also its ownership in, in uh, U.S. giants like uh, 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 Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft. So, Jonas, is there any indication that the fund might rethink its strategy given what's going on with, it, with global trade? Well, I'm, I'm sure that there's a lot of thinking going on here at the headquarters in Oslo, but, but the fund really is, is invested sort of in a generational perspective. So I, I'm sure that it's, it's, it's prepared to sit out any, any short-term noise in terms of trade, but if it gets deeper, I'm sure it will, we'll have to think deeper. But, but right now, it's, it's really a, is, is, its long-term strategy over 20, 30, 40 years is, is still you know, a major bet that, that globalization will continue, that global growth will continue, and then, and then it continues to sort of spread its, its investments into, uh, globally into emerging markets markets, frontier markets. It's a huge investor in China, for example, as well. What about sort of alternative investments? We're showing a composition of the fund at this point, 2.6 percent right now in real estate. We were talking earlier to our Luke Kawa, who pointed out that the traditional portfolios, it's more difficult now to get the same kind of returns that perhaps investors have gotten over the past even decade or so, or a little bit shorter than a decade post-financial crisis. So um, is the fund going into more alternative investments? Well, uh, that's, it's, been, it's been trying and it's been asking the government to, to get to invest in, in uh, things like uh, private equity and infrastructure. But, but the government uh, is, is very conservative when it comes to the fund. So for now, it's, it's barred from investing in, in alternative investment and it has to stick to, uh, to uh, stocks, bonds and real estate. Uh, there's a move that it may be able to uh, soon invest in, uh, in infrastructure products that has to do with uh, renewable energy, such as wind and, and right. solar and things like that. But, but that's a decision that's still uh, down right. the line. 